Hello guys and welcome to your basically this is our 12 C++ tutorial sorry about that this is our 12 C++ tutorial and sorry for taking so long to do our 12 tutorial but anyways um, go right ahead and open the hello.cpp file that we had and if you don't have it or you forgot to save it go ahead and create a new project and under source files right click and add a new source file go ahead pause the video and do that and then go ahead start the video so our 12 tutorial as I mentioned in the previous tutorial is going to be basically an exercise or a small lab kind of like and this is going to be about let's say you have uh, this is going to incorporate basically whatever we've learned up to now and it's going to be let's say you own you own your own company and that consists of basically three three employees so what we want to do is going to create a, like a very uh, easy program like a very simple version of it uh, to basically ask the user when, when basically whenever somebody goes to work they have to punch in somewhere or like log in somewhere to basically keep track of their time so we're going to create like a login program basically to see if the user exists or not so to go to get started go right ahead and first of all make sure you have um, all these included libraries so if you don't have it just pause the video and include them then go ahead inside the main function we want to type int basically sorry constant integer and and this is going to be the number of employees our company is going to contain um, in this case I'm going to only put three but you can put as many as you want and you know uh, the reason why I make it constant is because we know that we actually have only three employees and we don't want that number to change for right now uh, maybe later on when we hire some new uh, employees we can change that but for right now we know this is going to be constant so next we're going to create um, two string we're going to type string uh, let's type name password this is where we're going to store their inputs the user inputs sorry string to be low, please. there we go so next we want to uh, basically declare and initialize two string arrays first is going to be I'm going to call it name one and the number of elements is going to be n which as we basically set up here n is going to be three then we want to open parenthesis close parenthesis semicolon and inside here we basically want to put our um, employee names so I'm going to put for the first guy I'm going to put his name John uh, second guy let's go with uh, Mike and for our last employee I'm going to go with um, James most certainly you can put um, different names or whatever you want and you, can, and you can put a different number of employees but for this tutorial I'm trying to make it quick so I'll put only three next we're going to create our string and I'm going to call it pass for standing for password array and still it's going to be n elements put your brackets semicolon and inside here we have to make sure that as we see here John is stored in name one array in subset zero so we have we have to make sure that his password is also stored in the same array uh, not in the same array in the same subset in array password so what we want to do is his password I'm going to basically put like a number so I'll put one two three four that's John's password Mike's password is going to be two three four five and James password is going to be four five six seven next what we want to do is type C out and let them enter the password so I'm gonna type here um, enter your ID next we type C in to get the input and we're gonna store that in the name the ID is gonna be the name and next we're gonna type C out I'm gonna type uh, enter your password we want to store that in the I'm gonna type C in and store that in the pass password variable 
Next, we're going to start the for loop. And in here, I'm going to type INTI, start from zero. I basically has to be less than N, which is number of employees our company contains. And I, we're going to increment it by one every time we execute the loop. So, And inside of here, we're going to have an if statement. We want to type if name, which basically is what the user is going to enter, his ID equals. And here, we're going to type name1, which is our array up here. And we're going to put I. And, so we're going to, we have to put end password equals pass which is our password array i as well here so what this does is basically is going to is going to see what the user enters for the for his id and password and it's going to make sure that they exist in the same subset so if his uh, username exists in subset 0 his password exists in subset 0 unless it's not uh, elsewhere uh, otherwise it's not going to find it so if they do enter the correct password and uh, ID and password, then we're gonna display them a message that they did actually. I'm gonna type. I'm gonna type. You can type any message you want. I'm gonna type. You have successfully logged in. That's gonna. So this way they know that they have successfully basically that they entered the correct. ID and password and what we want to type here is break so this basically what this does basically is going to uh, get uh, so if this if they enter the correct ID and correct password is going to display this message and then it's going to break out of the loop so it's not going to continue executing for for n basically like three times so if his username and password are in array zero it's going to execute it's going to find it the first thing is going to find it going to display the message then it's going to break out so you don't have to execute the loop two more times then we have another case so let's say are we going to type else let's say if we do not find it if it's, if he enters the wrong then we want to type if i is greater than or equal to n minus one then we'll type here see out sorry we did not find your login info that's going to be the message displayed if they if they enter the wrong uh, basically id or user or password then you see up here that we included the windows.h library and in, in this library we're going to include um, something we're going to use this function called sleep and we're going to make a sleep for basically 3000 and what this does the sleep is basically will wait for three seconds until it goes to the next line until it executes the next line of code the next line of code is going to be system CLS and all this does is basically clear the screen so it's gonna it's gonna display sorry we did not find your info wait for three seconds so this has to be a lowercase s and 3000 means three seconds because um, the system is in milliseconds so divide that by a thousand you got three seconds and what we want to do last is basically we want to let them retry so we're going to type return and we're going to return to the main so we're going to basically what, we, what we're doing here is we're going to return up here again and start executing from the beginning so we're going to ask the user to enter his password and, and username again until they get the right one and remember this is just a simple version of it i mean we can keep count of how many tries they do and if they exceed three tries we can basically lock them out and we can do a lot of different things but this is just a very simple version of this so let's basically go ahead and build it and see if it actually compiles and we don't have any errors the compiling I don't know yes let's see if it compiled it did compile all right let's run it so enter your ID we are right here 
So I'm going to enter John. And it says password. I'm going to enter John's password, which is basically 1234. Let's enter 1234 and see what happens. 1234. It says you have successfully logged in, logged in because he actually, it's in this line right here. And it found his ID and password. So he displayed the message um, and then he, he, the one, he got out of the loop. And he executed his pose and then he returned zero. He terminated the program. Let's try a different case. Let's try a case where we entered the wrong username or password or both, which it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's enter basically Mike this time. And let's enter the wrong password. Let's type two, three, four, six. So we should basically get the other message. Sorry, we did not find your info. It's going to wait three seconds and then it's going to ask you to enter it again. Now let's type Mike again and enter the correct password. 2345. And it says, You have successfully logged in. So there we go. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, please stay on. Um, uh, Please subscribe to, to my channel and please watch all my other videos and friend invites are always welcome. So thank you so much for watching my channel guys and if you need a tutorial about anything in particular please let me know. And our next tutorial is going to be on the switch statement so stick around for that. Thank you once more.